Jennifer here from Belladonna's Botanicals again. And I wanted to talk about and say one important thing. Your spiritual experiences are valid. Let me repeat that. Your spiritual experiences are valid. There really is no concrete formula in which to prove that, you know, the version of Lucifer or Lilith or Hecate or whomever you're working with is the one true visage of that person, of that entity. That spirits are going to, and I have talked about this many times before, spirits are going to work with you in a way that makes sense to you based on your lived experiences and your visual frame of reference. I can't tell you how many times I get, and honestly, they're usually mansplaining comments um, telling me that my experiences are invalid or, well, that's not how Lucifer is, or that's not how this is or whatever, or, well, in addition to the ones that claim to be the one true incarnate of Lucifer, which whatever. Um, but it's not to say that, that, like, how do you know? How do you know that the Lucifer I'm working with is not because it's different than the, than the aspects of Lucifer that you're working with. It doesn't it, neither negate or validate each other. Um, and it's a little, I feel like this carryover from right hand path, um, you know, thinking in the, you know, one true God, and there is only one true God, and my God is the one true God kind of thing, in which a great many war and much blood has been spilled over the course of human history to try to prove, um, even to this day. So it's not about that. It's developing your personal relationship with divinity. And my relationship with Lucifer is going to be different than your relationship with Lucifer and anyone else down the line. And it doesn't invalidate anyone um we just have a different working relationship and there are many aspects when working with any spirit and however you want to view lucifer or lilith or any of these whether you want to look at lilith as the mother of demons or the first wife of adam or you know as a dark goddess or as you know a deific mask or as an archetype something like that or whether you want, or or depending on where you fall on on the the spectrum of fallen angel lore, because that that's not just Lucifer, that's a lot. That's you know, Azazel, Shemyaza, you've got the Watchers, you've got fallen angels, you've got demons, you've got you know Goetic demons, you've got all the different grimoires and all the different interpretations of it, and you know, nothing is true and nothing is false at the same time. Uh, because how the fuck does any of us really know? Um, but to invalidate another person's spiritual experience, you're being kind of a bleepity bleep 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 um, because I'm trying to be polite so I don't get, you know, shadow banned or whatever or <laughs> YouTube censorship, whatever. Um, anyways. But, you know, the, the, we don't need, if you're, we're all kind of on the same side here. I don't know why we need to like, be like, well, my experience is more valid than your experience. They're just different. I, we work with different aspects. So, like the aspect I work with Be Beelzebub on is very different than I think of what a lot of other people work with Beelzebub on. Like all of my workings of, uh, with Beelzebub have been on really on the topic of emotional pestilence. I did a video on it a while back. Um, that might be different than, you know, the typical kind of Lord of the Flies, Lord of Pestilence sort of things, or whether you're going into the biblical lore of Beelzebub, um, you know, so these are all different topics, but like, I'm not entirely sure why people feel the need to invalidate each other's spiritual experiences. And yeah, sometimes people are, you can do, you know, ego projection and, you know, it is what it is. Like, you know, if it, if you're talking something way, you know, off the spectrum whatsoever, I mean, it could be valid for you by all means, but it might not necessarily be the norm when it comes to working with that particular entity. And there's a lot of different ways, especially with Lucifer, that people look at an entity as, as Luc you know, 
whether you're looking at the biblical, whether you're looking as Lucifer, as v e Venus, as the morning star, as the light bringer, as an angel or a fallen angel or as the devil or Satan or whatever, you know, there's a lot of different ways to look at this one particularly massive entity. And it's and because, you know, Lucifer and Lilith are my primary like matron and patron deity, if you want to call it that. Um, I just realized I left something in the microwave and it's going to beep incessantly forever. So I'm going to try to wrap this up pretty quickly. I don't know if you can hear it from here. Um, I have, sidebar, I have a very neurotic microwave and dryer. They will just go off forever and as loud as humanly possible. Um, my stove just goes beep. Like that's the thing that can pr pretty much burn down the house, but the microwave, you know, whatever. Um, I'm sure my, you know, lean cuisine will 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 survive um anyways food food and microwave banter aside um we really don't need to be invalidating each other's spiritual experiences in that sense like your your experiences working with lucifer are completely valid um you know maybe not so much if he's telling you out to go you know have a mass pew pew and and whatnot because that's probably your psychosis um or ego projection there, or you're doing the whole trope of the devil made me do it kind of thing. But, um, and it's not to say that ego does not play a role in this. And that's not to say that mental health and psychosis does not play a role in this. But even in those instances, those experiences are that are the experiences of those people. It's, it, it's, you know, you could kick three different people in the shins and they're all going to have entirely different experience of that. So which experience is the most valid? Um, so that's just kind of one of those little things that kind of like always chips my craws or is, is when people like, and I get it quite often. I don't know if it's just because I am who I am, or there's just bored people on the internet who, who have to tell you you are wrong. Um, that's a lot of it. Um, I have nothing better to do with my time, so you are wrong. I'm just going to, to disagree with people on the internet to make myself feel better about my pathetic existence. Snarkiness aside, um, I just want people to know, especially when you face those types of things, because you're going to get that on TikTok, you're going to get that on social media as people poo pooing your experiences or just being like, Oh, you're cosplaying your, your whatever, or, um, I don't know what, what, you know, version of so-and-so you think you're working with, but it doesn't match up with mine. So therefore I am superior again, but I digress. Um, your experiences are valid. Whether or not they are where they land on that spectrum or whether they are correct or incorrect or whatever, they're still your valid experiences. Even the most insane, full of shit person, um, that's still their valid experience um, of it, whether it is influenced by ego projection, whether it is influenced by psychosis, whether it's influenced by drugs or whatever it's still valid it may not match up with with your experience or my experience with working with that entity um like just saying belial's never asked me to you know unalive anyone um saw someone claiming that recently i was like no i think you just wanted to do that bub but anyways um because that again falls into the devil made me do it and not accepting responsibility for your own personal thoughts and actions and desires in that sense. So um, that said, go forth and practice. And there really are no right or wrong ways to work with any of these entities. I mean, just, you know, follow the laws of the land. Don't be a dick and don't, you know, unalive people and abuse people and be a horrible person. I think I covered that under don't be a dick, but anyways, um, bears worth mentioning again. Um, you know, no, th there's no way to prove 
or disprove any one person's spiritual experiences. And that goes for every freaking religion and spiritual path on this planet. Nothing can be proved. And that is what's amazing about it. Um, it's called having faith in something. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it's when we try to prove things. It's when we try to exert our spirituality, uh, our our su superiority and our, well, my version is the right way. And um, that's how you end up with things like the Crusades and Holy Wars and, you know, the things we've seen play out over history and, you know. Uh, do you want that? Does, is, is that what you think spirituality should be? Because I would assume that if you are, you know, walking the path through any level of alternate, alternative spirituality, whether you are left-hand path or white love and light or whatnot, and any, any array of witchcraft practices or cult, you know, folk magic and stuff like that. I would think that you would want to break away from that old kind of one true God, the only one true God. And, you know, everyone else who doesn't think like me should be destroyed. Um, you would want, you would think walking this path, you should kind of leave that at the door. Cause that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't fly here anymore because we're allowing for the fact that my microwave will not shut the fuck up. Anyways, we are allowing for the fact that, who knows? And there's different aspects that you can work with, with any of these entities, like, you know, looking at the archetype of goddesses of love and war. Um, you can work with Astarte for love magic and you can work with her for war, for, you know, cursing people and hexing them. Or you can work with Astaroth, which is sort of, a, a, to me, is a different aspect of, is more of a masculine aspect of Astarte, but kind of based on Astarte or, you know, going back to Ishtar or Inanna. Um, any of these things that there's all these different ways you can work with these entities. So is it right or wrong? Am I, am I going to say, Hey, you're working with Odin in the wrong way? No, cause fuck if I know. Um, so you do you boo and I'll do me and somewhere we meet in the middle and talk about our experiences, which are all valid. Your experiences are valid. And anyone who says otherwise can pucker up and suck a fart out my ass. Um, cause I'm just such a, so ladylike. <laughs> Occasionally my Southern comes out me cause I did, I did live in the South for a few years when I was in my young informative years, many, many moons ago, 40 of them in fact. Um, anyways, so sometimes if I'm being extra sugary sweet, it's the Southern side coming out when I'm like, bless your heart, sweetheart. What I'm really telling you to do GDIAF. And if you know what that stands for, I love you. <laughs> anyway. Have a good one. Love you all and...